Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do another Dutch pour on a 6x11 and hopefully this will be the green piece in my 9 piece set that I've been working on. I may have to redo a couple of colors here and I may have to redo a color in the end if it doesn't fit right and we'll just have to wait and see. I know I did orange and red last week and you would think yellow would be next, but I did the yellow one first. I still may redo the yellow one because it, I might want a different one with more yellows. But we'll just see what happens. This is my Mars Black. And I'm just going to do my colors and tell you what they are as I go and try to make this kind of quick. This is Neutral Gray. I put this off longer today than normal because I just kind of didn't feel like fighting with my phone and I had to mix up a couple of colors. This is Payne's Gray and we'll put a little bit of silver here. my white with coconut milk hair serum. This gives me all of the pretty lacing and cells that I like at the top and the bottom. And then some Prussian blue. And we'll start with the greens. A couple of my greens may be the same. I don't have them in an order. I think I forgot one of my greens. I have way more greens than what I realized, but that's perfectly okay. I think I'll start with this emerald green, and this one does not have silicone. This is a really pretty light green shade, light to medium green shade. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do next. I may cut the parts where I'm deciding. This is a holiday green. I've never used it before to my knowledge. It is from Studio 71, which whenever I very first started pouring, we had a craft store in the town where I do all of my shopping. And they had a lot of Studio 71 paints, and I love those because they were the same quality of Liquitex Basics, but cheaper. But then they went out of business and they became Michaels, and then I could order Studio 71 stuff from ConsumerCrafts.com, but now I can't get that site to work. That's where I bought some of my canvases and some other stuff whenever I first started pouring too. But anyway, that was my fun fact. I wish I could find more Studio 71 stuff. This is Thalo Green. This is a nice deep tealish almost color. It's almost teal. Um, maybe it is teal. I don't know, but it's called Thalo Green. And it does have some silicone. And then this is Ocean Green. It's more of an aqua or like a, not aqua, but it's, it's one that I use with turquoises sometimes, but I still like it, and it has green in the title. I kind of need to set these over here as I've used them so I can remember. Okay, because I didn't have a plan, I just thought I would pour on paints as I went. And now I will do, this is Arteza Pearl Sage Green. Whoa. I forgot, these little bottles are, they're like really nice for mixing up paints that you just have in the teeny tiny trial sizes. So they get really full. Cobalt Green, this one's really pretty. This is, I got this at that craft store when it was going out of business. It is a Windsor & Newton, but it's not one of their Galleria. It's one of their artist something colors, and they've changed the name, so I'm not exactly sure what it's called now. This is Middle Green. It is by 
creative inspirations, which I get from Jerry's Artorama. I get them in these nice 16 ounce or 500, 16.9 ounce or 500 milliliter sizes. And some light green permanent. So this is more of a lime green like color. And then I have, I have more, way more green than I thought that I did, which is cool. This is why I want to redo the yellow one, because I want to, I only use like three yellows and a peach with the yellow one. I want to redo the yellow with more yellows, because I have a ton of yellows. This is Deep Green Permanent, and I've never used it before. I just mixed it up today. This one's emerald green again, but it has some silicone. And then this is bright aqua green, and I use this in my turquoise teal colors. I use it as, it says bright aqua green, and I use it as like a teal, basically. And pearl pistachio. This is Arteza. Okay, now I'll move these out of the way, and then I'll fill in my white. I know there's paint running off, but I do drip, I do use the drips to make necklaces. Right now I've been making necklaces. Sometimes I use them to make cards. I need to start making cards again and getting them ready to glue down to some white plain cards so that I can use them for holiday cards. But for now, I've been making necklaces. That is a really pretty piece. That would be, that right there, the center of that would make a really nice circular necklace piece. But we'll go with this titanium white with coconut milk hair serum. And this is what will blow over the collar. And we'll do that down here too, like we've been doing. But I want to try something a tiny bit different this time. Since I get a huge white spot down here that I'm not as fond of, I'm going to try bringing some of this black up into that. Maybe just add my... Do these colors all again down here. And if I don't like this, I can always go over it. Paint spray. Prussian blue. All right, now we have way, 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 way more paint than we need. So hopefully this goes well the first time. Hopefully I don't have to use more paint and do it again. I'm going to give it a second, and then I know I'm going to have to level the paint out a little bit. And I want to figure out how to do this without making this mostly white right here. So let's put my black and my paint spray back down right here. Now let's see. Okay, so that helped me bring more of the black that I wanted. There's still some white there. Maybe I didn't need to re-add that white. I like, there's a lot of paint there 
and I'm kind of wanting to blow dry it to level it out and spread more green but at the same time I actually have the shape that I was going for I'm just I'm still practicing and trying to figure out how to get rid of this I always have a large section of white down here and I do have enough paint that I could blow dry it some more to level the paint out but I would change everything that I see so give me just a second There's not as much green as I thought there would be with all the green that I used. Maybe I needed to blow the green this way more before I blew it back. Um, still have a lot of white right there. Let's check for any bubbles. I meant to put some antique gold with those greens, but I forgot. Um, hmm. I just don't like all of this white right here, and there's not even a lot of other colors and lacing popping through there. And the paint is so thick that I feel like I should blow dry it some more. Let me touch up my sides. I never know when to stop. That's the worst part. There is more green towards the top than... That's okay. Maybe that's where the green went. I don't know if I should blow dry it some more to level the paint. I don't know if I should... Add some more color right here to get rid of this white. I'm not sure what I should do. I wish someone could tell me what to do. I think what I'm going to do is just leave it. And as it dries, maybe some of the gray or the black will pop through and create some lacing or something besides just the white. I may have to do another green one for my set and this may have to just be like an extra one or as it dries I may see something in it that I like and then it may um, be okay with me I don't know there is a lot more green up here there is green up there so that's cool I'm just I feel like I had so much paint that there should be more green. And I know I did add more of the black and stuff down here, but that's, I was trying to get rid of this. I always have like a big white section right there and I was trying to get rid of that. But then I put white over top of it again, didn't I? So maybe with the turquoise one, which will be next in this series, I may do a different painting for Thursday instead of one from this series. But in the turquoise one, I will maybe try something differently to try to get rid of this big white spot right here. So I will torch one more time and I will leave it there. Well, I won't torch one more time. Nope, I won't torch. I'll have to fill my torch. Um, I'll just leave it there and I'll take you down for a close-up. And maybe I will like it better as it dries. Maybe some more colors will pop through right here as it levels out. Um, hopefully I will, as it dries, see an image in it that I like. And then that will make me like it more. Um... I did get a lot of this color up here. I think what I need to start doing, I've been doing like a rainbow in the center and I want to try, 
I wanted my idea was for the set to be one going this way and then one going this way and back and forth but I'm not sure that's how the set's going to be the set's going to come out how I like each one facing and I'm going to try to line them up so that's not how it's going to it's not going to end up how I thought it was um so maybe the next time I do something like this with a set I have these longer canvases in a bunch of different sizes now um well in a few different sizes maybe my plan should be to get like the most of the color in the center and like how I put the green up here like how there's green up at the top too maybe I should stretch it towards the bottom too maybe it should be a straight line I should go each way with it I don't know let me know what you think in the comments below I'll stop yakking and I will say thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos, and have a blessed day. Bye! Okay, as always, I'll show you the close-up from my side of the table, and then next Monday we'll do a dry result. And hopefully I will like it better. Um, I like from here up. I'm just not fond of this huge white section here, and I'm never fond of that huge white section there need to figure out what to do differently to get rid of that but I love the greens and all that the green reached all the way to the top I love that the green is all the way at the top this time is what I'm trying to say and all of the different colors and cells and lacing I love the way that white with the coconut milk hair serum just really does a lot of work for me in these and makes some really pretty spots I just wish there was more color with it at the bottom. I love all the different shades of green here. And if you look up close, you can, especially more towards the top, you can see a lot of the different colors, a lot of the different greens. I love this section through here. You can see all those lines, like those wispy lines. And then the different green cells and all those wispy lines kind of make the little lacing. Let me know what you think of this one. And let me know if you have any tips on what I should do to maybe not have this huge white section here. But maybe that's just the recurring theme in this set or this series is that white section there maybe that's just meant to be there since I end up with it in all of them maybe it's like the cloud in any storm or the the cloud in any story or maybe it is the white spot or the bright spot in anything like you know how everything has some kind of a bright spot of positivity or anything negative has a silver lining instead of a silver lining maybe I'm getting the white spot in everything is maybe my instead of it being negative which I think of it as being negative because I don't want it there maybe that's just my reminder that there's always there's always something that we don't like about something, but there's also this one bright spot or this one positive note in everything. So maybe that's what the message is. Maybe that's what the message of the series is since I keep getting that white spot. I don't know. Let me know, like I said, what you think in the comments. And I'm sure as it dries and more images kind of pop out to me, like this spot right here with this really bright green cell right there that pops out of that black. That I love that. As it dries, I'm sure I'll see different little faces or people or different little things that I like. So let me know what your favorite part is and let me know what you think. And as always, have a blessed day. Bye.